Okay, it's 6.05, so we're going to get started. Uh, welcome to the community design meeting for the Lakeside Area Water and Sewer Improvement. My name is Sally Ellerton, and I do the project communications for the Fort Worth Water Department's Water Capital Delivery Group. If you haven't already, especially our call-in users, please mute yourself now. You can unmute yourself following the presentation. If you can see the presentation um, and, and you have questions during it, please post your questions in the chat and we'll address those questions once the presentation is over. If you are new to WebEx, that chat link, it's the bubble at the bottom, bottom right side of your screen. If you're a call-in user, um, make sure you write your questions down and we will answer those questions after we take the chat questions. This meeting is being recorded and a link will be posted to the city website project page. All you have to do is go to uh, fortworthtexas.gov, that's all spelled out, and in the search bar on the home page, um, you can put in Lake, Water, Lake Worth Water and Sewer Part 2 and it'll pop up. Um, we will email the video link and the project summary to the board members of the Scenic Shores Neighborhood Association and those um, the video and the summary FAQs will also be on that project page. Uh, Walter Norwood is your project manager, so I'm going to pass this to Walter. Thank you, Sally. My name is Walter Norwood, and uh, we, we're going to we're going to do the introductions. We're still doing and project overview, project area. And we're going to explain why we're doing this project. So Walter Norwood, here's my phone number, 817-392-5026, or walter.norwood at fortworthtexas.gov. Fort Worth, Texas is spelled out. <laughs> we also have our design consultant, Burgess and Nipel on the line, Billy Winden and Lyndon Crouch. This project's located in the city of Fort Worth, Council District 7, and it borders the city of Lakeside. We're going to construct new water mains and sewer mains along Jacksboro Highway in an area bounded by Roadrunner Road to the west and Surfside Drive to the east. There'll also be some construction on the south side of uh, Jacksboro Highway along Somerville Place and I mean, Somerville Road and Tyler Place, uh, bounded by Ella Young to the south. <clears throat> this map shows the, the project area with the black, dark black lines. The blue line with the dash is dash line inside it. That's the city limits for the city of Lakeside. And so we're going to we're going to install a water line and road runner from Jacksboro Highway all the way through to Jacksboro Highway again. About 2000 feet. And we're going to put a water line along Jacksboro Highway on the north side to Surfside Drives. We're going to extend the water line down Surfside. To uh, Somerville Place and watercrest and we're also going to extend some water line in somerville place from elegant to tyler place and then down tyler place from somerville to elegant <clears throat> this project has three distinct areas the the north side of jacksboro highway is an area that's currently not served water by a municipality, meaning specifically the Lakeside or the town of Lakeside. And the south side of Jasper Highway, which is served water by Lakeside. And also Roadrunner, Roadrunner Road, which is currently served water by Lakeside. Lakeside and Fort Worth each currently hold the certificate of convenience and convenience and necessity granted by the state of Texas to be the exclusive provider of water service for each of these three areas. 
And through an agreement with Lakeside, Fort Worth will begin to expand their water service into these areas and provide water and sewer to those areas except for road running. So that, that map you see on the right, there's a red box on the map that shows the area we call the north side of Jacksboro Highway. <clears throat> And that's the area that's currently not served by Lakeside. Fort Worth will install water and sewer along this side of the highway. If, if you're on the north side of the highway, in order to get connected to our system, you will need to plat your lot, you need to get a plumbing permit and pay impact fees and tap fees. You'll, you'll need those permits to extend your private service for water and sewer to the street to connect. You'll need to install a backflow preventer, we call an RPZ or reduced pressure zone backflow preventer. And also a pressure reducing valve at the typically at the meter box. And then since we put in a PRV, we're going to need to install a thermal expansion tank, or you're going to need to install a thermal expansion tank. And this picture on the left shows an example of a thermal expansion tank installed above the water heater. And this is to protect your system or your water heater. If, if in the event that the pressure reducing valve closes. I mentioned the water and sewer impact fees. Impact fees are charged when you connect to a, if you're a new customer to a municipal system to offset the increased demands. They're only used to fund expansion of the water system, which is what we're doing here. We're expanding our system. And then sewer and water tap fees are the fee to actually connect to the pipe. So that's why there's a impact fee and a tap fee. The map on the right shows a red box that we, for the area we call the south side of Jacksboro Highway. This is the area that's currently served water by the town of Lakeside. And it's been annexed by Fort Worth, so we're going to begin serving water there next year, or we'll be able to serve water there next year. There, there will also be a sewer main installed at the same time and and you can also connect to the sewer. So if, if you're on the south side and you, you want to connect to the sewer, you'll need to get a permit for your plumber to extend your service to the street. You'll have to pay an impact fee, but only for sewer and the same for the tap fee, sewer only. The permit allows you to extend your private services to the street, like I said, and then when after you're connected to the Fort Worth sewer system, you can abandon your septic tank system. This, this map shows the Roadrunner Road area. If, if you live over there, if you have a residence, you face Roadrunner, if you have a business in that area, your business faces Jacksboro Highway, but since we're putting the water line along Roadrunner, we're going to connect you from Roadrunner. So beginning next year, Lakeside will release portions of their CCN that are within the city of Fort Worth city limits. And after we construct these water lines with Roadrunner, we'll connect you at the location of your current meter. We are not extending sewer to Roadrunner at this time. We don't have the ability to provide sewer service for Roadrunner Circle. So if you if you have water from Lakeside and you live on Roadrunner or adjacent to it, you have a business that backs up to it, we're going to connect you to our system without charge. 
we'll install the pressure reducing valves and the thermal expansion tanks for you. If you're in the area that we mentioned that we call the north side of Jasper Highway, this is the area that does not have any service from the town of Lakeside, but you are in the city of Fort Worth. You're going to connect, con construct the water and sewer lines along the road, either in an easement on your property adjacent to the road or in the, actually in the highway. And you'll be able to connect to those lines after after you've paid your water and sewer tap and impact fees and the, the lines ready to be connected to. You'll need to hire a plumber to, to install all of these things, including the service line extension to the road. So all of the changes to your plumbing, everything from the meter or the connection back will belong to you and you'll provide that. If you need to get, if you need some information on how to get a, a plumbing permit, I'm sure your plumber will know how, but here's a phone number. 817-392-2222. Or you can email at D E B C U S T O M E R S E R V I C E at Fort Worth Texas.gov. Sally will make the this uh, presentation and information available to you after the meeting. So you if you didn't get that email address. You'll get it then. Here's a copy of the plan sheet that shows the water system layout in the, the darker lines. Oh, this shows the sewer layout. I'm sorry. The darker lines show the sewer system that we're going to extend. It's Somerville, Tyler Place, along both sides of Jacksboro Highway. And, and that's it. We're not going to go over to Roadrunner with the sewer system at this time. So if, if you're on the north side, you're going to need to have your lot platted before you can get, before you can connect to this, to the water system, unless you can show that your property was served by a, a utility prior to September 1st, 1987. And if you have any questions about that, again, we'll have some contact information. If you decide you want to divide your property into more than one part and get more than one connection, then you may be assessed front foot fees, front foot assessment fees at the time that you connect. So at this time, you can connect without paying any front foot assessment fees, but if you divide your lot you may need to pay those. If you own the property and have a well and only require one service, you will not be assessed for the front footage of your property. If your property is vacant, if you don't occupy it, you may be assessed. For this only applies to the north side area that doesn't have water service from Lakeside. So if you're in that north side area, everybody that lives there or has a business is on a well of some kind. And that's what the TCEQ considers an alternate water source. And that's why you need to get a backflow permit. We are putting in the PRV because the water pressure from our system is unusually high at times in this area. So the pressure reducing valve protects your plumbing. And since you have a pressure reducing valve, the plumbing code requires a thermal expansion tank. And if you're in the north side area, you'll, your plumber will install both of these. If you're on the south side of Jacksboro Highway, and that includes Somerville and Tyler Place, 
We're going to construct a gravity sewer at the same time as the water line. And since, since you're currently a lakeside customer, we're going to connect you to the Fort Worth water system. You can also connect to the sewer system if you choose to, but there'll be additional fees for connecting to the sewer system. We're going to extend water and sewer services up to your lot. And for the water, that'll be at the location of your, the current location of your meter. If you, your meter from Lakeside will extend our water service to that point and put in a Fort Worth meter and connect you to the water at no cost. On the sewer, we're going to extend the service up to the right of way line and you'll have to come to that service. Your plumber will do that. So on the on the south side area, you'll need a pressure reducing valve and thermal expansion tank. But again, since you're served by Lakeside, we'll install those for you to connect you to the Fort Worth water system. If you happen to have a well on your property, you'll you will need a a backflow preventer, but I'm not aware of any wells in the, in this particular area. The, the thermal expansion tank is usually put inside the house adjacent to the water heater. And we'll hire a plumber to come do that. So as I mentioned, the, the sewer service will be stubbed out to your to the property line at the street and we'll put a clean out in and then your plumber can go from the clean out to your house at, usually at the point where you go to your septic tank since you're not connected to a municipal sewer system you'll be charged a tap and impact fee for the sewer you can connect to the sewer as soon as the lines are are ready to be connected to and you've paid the tap and impact fees and extended the private sewer service with a permit. This is a picture that shows an example of, of a sewer line connecting to the sewer main in the street. The, the blue part on the right, this is the sewer main and the blue Cone shape here, that's the city's clean out in the street. Typically, you'll have other clean outs on your property adjacent to your house or where you have a bend in the line. So the blue part is the part we're going to install. The gray part is installed by you or your plumber. And again, if you choose to subdivide your property to get two meters at this time, there'll be additional charges for the meter and the sewers connections. If you are only connecting the property you currently own and occupy and only require one service, you will not be assessed for any front footage of your property. If your property is currently vacant and you don't have a water meter from Lakeside, it, it may be assessed front foot fees. We'll have to look at that if we have any people in that situation. If you live on Roadrunner, Fort Worth is going to construct the water line and, and connect you at, at the location of your current connection to Lakeside. So we'll connect to the same place where the Lakeside meter is and we'll just put a Fort Worth water meter there. We will not put sewer service and road running. After we install the, the service up to your line, we're going to put a meter and a pressure reducing valve adjacent to the meter. And that means you have to have a thermal expansion tank inside your house. So we're going to hire a plumber to go in and, and install that in your house. So again, these customers are currently served by Lakeside. So Fort Worth is going to provide the PRV and the thermal expansion tank so that you can be connected to Fort Worth system. 
This map shows the, the new lines we're going to build with this project along Tyler Place and Somerville between Ella Young and Tyler Place. Along the south side of Jacksboro Highway and then along the north side of Jacksboro Highway from Surfside Drive all the way to the end of Roadrunner. Here's some information to help you uh, find out how to get a, an account set up with the Fort Worth Water Department. You'll have to open an account with us and eventually you'll need to close your account with Lakeside after we switch you over. The number to call is 39, sorry, 817-392-8250. You can also Email at zz underbar wtr d e v e l o p m e n t at fortworthtexas.gov. You can come to City Hall, and their office is located in the lower level of the City Hall building at 200 Texas Street. Hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Uh, some of the commonly asked questions are, will, will our sewer service be disrupted? The sewer service will only be interrupted when your plumber connects from your house to the new service line, which shouldn't take very long, only a few minutes. This picture on the right shows an example of a City of Fort Worth cleanout being installed at the street. That you'll get a, a clean up that looks like this, except that the grass will be around it. Uh, people like to usually want to know if access is needed to your property. Most of our work is going to be in, in easements along the street or actually in the street along Jacksboro Highway and Somerville and Tyler. Or Roadrunner. At some point, after we get ready to connect you, somebody will need to come on your property or into your house and install the thermal expansion tank. And we'll we'll make an appointment with you to do that. So, uh, but by that time, you'll have gotten to know the inspector and probably the contractor and you know we'll uh we'll be talking to you to let you know that's coming if you're in the group the north side of jacksboro group with no water service from lakeside you will be hiring the plumber and installing those things and you'll you'll coordinate that with your plumber We'll, we'll continue to use the lakeside system until we're ready to switch you over to our system. And that will only take 15 to 30 minutes when we do this transfer. So the lakeside system is gonna stay in service until we're ready to switch you to Fort Worth. If you're on a well, your water will only be turned off when we switch you from the well to the Fort Worth service. If there's any damage to your property, we'll repair it back to original condition. Condition. We encourage you to take 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 pictures of the front of your property, and we'll also instruct our contractor to take pictures before construction begins. If you have an irrigation system, we we'll, we will ask you to. Uh, Turn on the irrigation system for us so we can mark the sprinkler heads. And probably be a good idea to photograph those too. We, we may need to adjust them or we may not. We'll have to see where they are. We're currently still in the design phase. We expect to uh, get bids and start construction in the spring of next year 
The current projected end date is the summer of 2023. After we select a contractor, we will have another meeting so that you can talk with the contractor and get the get a more accurate schedule from him. The city of Fort Worth has a website where you can you can get updates about the project www.fortworthtexas.gov slash projects slash CFW dash lakeside dash area dash water dash and dash sewer dash improvements. There, there will also be a link to this meeting video, the project map and the project summary with frequently asked questions that will be linked to this project page. Again, we'll we'll send out this information if you want it so that you can more easily navigate our website. Here's my contact information. Again, it's Walter Norwood, 817-392-5026. Walter.norwood at fortworthtexas.gov. Get information about your water account. You can call water applications at 817-392-8250. ZZ underscore WTR development, D-E-V-L-O-P-M-E-N-T at fortworthtexas.gov. If you are, if you notice any emergencies or main breaks that happen while our contractor is working, you can call 817-392-4477 24 hours a day. You can also call the same number Monday through Friday from 7 to 7. That's 817-392-4477. Well, that's the end of the presentation. And I'm going to hand it back to Sally. Thank you, Walter. We don't have any questions in the chat, so if you just want to go one by one and start asking your questions. Sherry, I unmuted you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask now. Elizabeth, do you have any questions? Mary, do you have any questions? We also have Pat Jacob on here from the town of Lakeside and Norman Craven from the town of Lakeside. Okay, I'm gonna unmute everybody just in case you are muted and can't unmute yourself. So you should all be able to ask questions if you have them. We own property on the Jacksboro Highway uh, on the south side. That is all going to be included, correct, on this new, on the project? Yes, if, if you're in Fort Worth city limits now on the south side of Jacksboro Highway, you will be included in this project. Okay. Do we have any other questions out there? Okay, Elizabeth says no questions. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. And we still have Mary and we've got, it looks like at least one more call-in user. Okay, 
um, as Walter said, the um, the video to this PowerPoint, a YouTube video will be made of this PowerPoint, and that will be added to the project page on the City of Fort Worth website. Uh, probably give it until Monday for it to go live. The uh, maps are already on there, and I will also do the, the summary and the frequently asked questions like Walter was talking about. Those will also be on there in English and Spanish. And I think Walter said we'd come back. Um, Walter, will you go back to the construction timeline slide? Yeah. Uh, we'll be doing a second community meeting probably in the spring of 2022. And as Walter said, we'll have a contractor on board and we'll be able to talk specifically about your lot or you can always call Walter or email him yourself ahead of, ahead of that meeting. But we'll send out the mailers and the evites again. Uh, should, you should get those two weeks in advance of the meeting. So if you can just talk to your neighbors and ask them to join in. Walter, do you have any closing comments? No, uh, I, I had my, I gave out my phone number and email address. Please feel free to call if you have any questions. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.